What's up guys, my name is Section from the Deviants, and today we're going to be reacting to Red vs. Blue Season 12, Episode 1, 2, 3, and 4. The last episode of last season, we had, I believe we had Washington, Sarge, Donut, Lopez, and Doc. I believe it was those five people that got captured by the, the feds, which left Griff, Tucker, Simmons and Caboose to be the only ones that actually escaped and is now with the New Republic I think that's what it's called. I don't know the the, the freedom fighters. So I'm wondering if they're gonna be doing a duality like a uh, a Two different type of viewpoints in this season where like half the time They're gonna focus on you know the four people that escaped and trying to build kind of like their leadership abilities because they're looked to as leaders in the um, the freedom fighters and then the other half of the time is probably going to be like Washington or or Sarge or something like that trying to talk to Carolina or or Locus and and see what exactly is going on. Without further ado, let's get straight on into it. Make sure to put the original content as always. All right, let's get going in three, two, one, and red team this is blue team we are in position how copy over blue team this is, is red team is this I a, copy. a training blue in position over gold team this is blue team all units are in position and awaiting further instructions what is your status over gold team two three this sounds is like blue they're team. trying to make One, a radio check over uh yeah we're here blue team gold team i repeat what is your status over uh we're pretty good <laughs> What? Actually, uh, we were wondering if we could maybe change our name to Orange Team. Oh my gosh. What difference does it make? See, I, hey. tell them it makes a big difference, bitters, because I am orange. Oh, we got, I am we got yellow. animations back. I am back. not yellow. I am fucking orange. Okay, uh, <laughs> it's a call back to what? This is it season one? I don't know. If you guys remember back in season one when me and Nate were watching it, uh, we were solely focused on this, our, on Griff being gold. And it, it, it made sense in our minds because Griff started with the G, gold, he looked gold. And um, I'm, I'm guessing a lot of other people thought he was gold as well back in the day because they're, you know, playing off it right now. Um, and you saw, or uh, I couldn't think of the voice, or who was voicing uh, the other person, but it just sounds like Simmons trying to fake a deep voice. You tell them it makes a big difference, bitters, because I am bitters? orange. <laughs> I am not gold. I am not yellow. I am fucking orange. Griff, get off the radio. The teams are fine. The teams suck. You're gonna blow our cover. Ugh. All right, we'll be gold. Go tell the blue team to suck a dick and then get in position. Whatever you say, Captain. Or not. Okay, I could be completely wrong. We're infiltrating an enemy base and you're bitching about colors. It's a misleading title. People can get confused. Oh, shut up. Nah, he's right. I'm confused. Caboose, you're always confused. Yeah. Well, that's, that's confusing. <gasps> okay, doors opening in approximately 15 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, what if this doesn't work? Then Probably you're almost won't. a better what if it's lock pick than Probably yours. Is. Uh, what would Sarge say in a time like this? Shut it, Simmons. Probably, yeah. Here we go. Password one. Ah! What a waste all your ammo. Bed. No. Apparently we've unlocked one of several security doors. Oh, so I talk on the radio when it's jeopardizing the mission, but that happens and everything's fine? Shush, Griff. They might hear you. <laughs> doors opening. <Yeah! laughs> Captain Griff, we have a visual on the main compound. Over. What's it look like? Well, on a scale from 1 to 10, say we're pretty fucked. Oh. Stow that kind of talk, bitters. Our CEO's put a lot of thought into this plan, so why don't you show a little faith? Right, Captain Caboose? Yes. Oh, All right. oh gosh. There. Is everyone ready? Ready. 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 Captain what? Simmons, Jensen has something to what? say to you. Uh... Yes, Jensen? I just wanted to say that no matter what happens, it's been an honor working with you, sir. Gosh, she was the babysitter on The Incredibles, and look where she is now. Uh, the thank you, Lieutenant. That is, yes, that's <clears throat> affirmative. Over. What the fuck was that? What? Did you just stroke out for a second? You sounded like Caboose. 
Uh, but see, me, hmm. can I be him? Shut up. Look at me, I'm smart. I like slide rules and protractors. Well, I can't wait to go <laughs> do some protracting. So I still have problems talking to girls. Big deal. I love protracting. Yeah, it is. Especially when your squad consists entirely of girls. Now, oh, man, well, speaking uh, of that, uh, what is Tucker doing? Junior high all over again. What? Why do I have to play in the women's league? I want to be a mathlete, Dad, a mathlete. Yeah, okay, I don't want to be Simmons anymore. God damn it, do I have to do everything around here? Everybody get ready, we're going on my mark. Three, two, one. You guys are talking way too loud. Every man for himself! What? What's going on? Suppressing fire! If they win this... Hey, what's up? Oh, ah! Three, four, so it's on our way. Oh gosh, they're worse than the reds and blues. Don't worry, I didn't coming. think that was possible. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Why are there so many pedals on this thing? <laughs> so many pedals. Like six. What the hell was that? Oh, we stopped. What is the point of these training exercises if you people aren't going to work together? But we did. We had team names and everything. Griff was gold. Yeah, the, the the beginning you had was good. A plan. You were organized, but once again you crumbled under pressure. <sighs> Lieutenants, debrief with your COs. Everyone else, round up all training weapons and uniforms. That's enough. Capture the flag for today. Whoa! Well, the flag. What the hell are we supposed to say? Hey guys, sorry you still suck. Turns out we suck too. At least we have something in common. Tell them what they need to hear. Tell them that they can do this, and that next time. They will be better. So you want us to lie to them? No. I don't. Just be um you optimistic. Wanted to talk to us, Serge? <sighs> I hope Tucker has it better than this. <laughs> Where's Tucker? Hey, Felix. You think I could have a turn with that sniper rifle? No. Absolutely not. <sighs> uh Sometimes I, uh, like to take my hands and, uh, cup them around my eyes. Like little hand binoculars. Shut the fuck up, Palomo. Palomo? <laughs> so I'm guessing they're not on a training mission. I'm guessing they're on an actual mission. Oh, it's a cool looking tree. Tree of life. Guys, they really beefed up their security. Why? What's going on? Well, it could be that someone from up top is coming to visit, or it uh -oh. could be a response to the weapons I stole from this place a few weeks ago. Gee, I wonder which one it is. The uh, first one. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious it's the weapon. Stop talking. We're gonna have to go with plan B. Wait, what do you mean? What's plan B? We plant C4, we leave, and we blow this outpost to hell. What? It's a standard hit and run. I've done it a million times. We'll be fine. Uh, actually, no. We will not be fine. I thought you said we came here to gather intelligence. That's gonna be pretty fucking difficult when their computer system is in about 40,000 pieces. Okay, I get that you want to see True. I do, really. True. But data retrieval is no longer an option. Once we find out where they're holding Wash and the others, the New Republic will do everything they can to save them. <sighs> but today isn't that day. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Now. We've only got one active camo unit. Tucker, that's going to you. It's a little damaged, so try not to run it constantly. Oh, only no. when you need to disappear. Got it. As for the rest of you, that's up to your captain. Oh, right. Ah, here's the problem. The rats must have chewed through the wire. That is a military hey, Russian? reinforced power cable. What kind of rats are you talking about? Space rats? Yeah, I can see that. Oh, on the back of my head. Perfect. <laughs> on the back of my head. Now you look just like the rest of those assholes. That was stupidly fortunate. What do you mean? Yep. I mean, what if we had ended up with two really fat bad guys? What size are you, Cunningham? Like a medium? Use extra large, sir. See? Whole plan. Whole plan would have been ruined. You, you think just no. you watch something on TV that it's a good idea? You don't? Also, really, man? Use extra large? It's very slimming, sir. Hey, uh, Understand. uh, what about me? Do uh, I get this guy's? No. Palomo, you're guarding our escape route. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we don't want you messing it up. Yep. Got it. 
Honestly, if you were out in the field, you'd probably get all of us killed. I could totally see okay, that. Okay, he's yeah. a caboose. Yeah. yeah. That'd be me. All right. Let's go to work. <sighs> okay. Just play cool. You, you really think this plan's gonna work? <laughs> I mean, I know the reds and blues are supposed to be war heroes, but they all seem kind of dumb. Dude, I'm invisible, not deaf. Oh. Sorry, sir. <sighs> Okie dokie, boys. Everyone take your modified sticky detonators, find something that looks expensive, and strap a bomb to it. As soon as you're done, head back to the cave. You sure you'll be okay in your armor out there, sir? <laughs> Don't you worry about me, kid. Freeze! Well. I am fucking awesome. <laughs> Uh, that's that's good. Good. That's, that's don't cool. go off in my face. Am I right? Bound to go wow wow. You mean he's here? Shit. Yeah, just came in from the city. They still got the freelancer up there? I don't know. Look it up inside. Fuck that. I'm not gonna let him catch me slacking off. Wash. Tucker, what's your status? Uh good, good. Almost done. Uh oh. Don't move. What the I said don't move. Turning is moving. Ugh. All right. I want, like, a hard drive or something. With base location. Well, if he doesn't have a hard drive. Shit. And any info you've got on Agent Washington and the other guys you kidnapped a while back. Okay, just take it easy. Captain, we're almost done. Where are you? Oh, gosh. In the lab. Give me a second. You're what? Chill out, dude. I got this. Are you fucking kidding me? I specifically told you not to. Thank you, mute button. All right. The files are copying over to a flash drive. Sweet. Nice. <laughs> Look Let's just hope uh, Locus hey, is in. I surrender. No, sir, it's, it's me, Cunningham. Oh, right. You turned off your radio. Everything okay? Yeah, sorry, I was kind of in the middle of something. Well, we gotta go. Like, now. Right, absolutely. Oh my goodness, Just one more there. minute. Sir, but I think the feds are on to us. Okay, okay, we can go... Now! Oh, shit. C Cunningham? Uh, everything okay? Jason? M man, what's going on? Guys? Uh, Cunningham isn't responding. We have been infiltrated. Sound the alarm. Can he tell? Oh! <gasps> Oh, no, 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 This is a horrible time. Oh, thank goodness for that C4. Oh, fuck. God damn it! Everyone move! We are aborting the mission! I've detonated some of the C4s at the distraction, so get out now! Nice wall hump screen. Be searching for and disarming the bomb. Oh, man. Hey, you. Stop. Uh, yes? You're a specialist, right? Come on, man. We need your help. Uh-oh. Great. Oh, gosh. Shit. He's gonna he's gonna think it's a success, but he lost oh, both fuck, his fuck, men. Fuck, 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 fuck. Technically. Tucker! Jesus, dude! Are you okay? What happened? No! I mean, yes, I'm fine. Where's Felix and Rogers? Here! Oh. You can disarm this, right? I, uh... No, I... What, what do you mean, no? This is your job! Right, no, I I know, uh... I oh, know. gosh. Intruder! Nice, nice. Now that was that was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. Talk to me, people. Where's Rogers? Not here, Cunningham. Dead. Locus got him. Locus is here. Oh, run! run. What about Rogers? There's some razzle dazzle. No, wait. Oh, son of a. Bitch. Yep, I knew it. Is either he's gonna get taken or he was gonna die. Yeah, yep, this is definitely going to be a failure in Felix's eyes, even though they did recover information. Which, actually, we don't even know if it's, like, good information. We uh, Tucker just told him to, like, copy a bunch of different files. We don't even know if it's, like, good information. 
So if Tucker finds out like this, the information was useless. He's gonna get like a heavy dose of uh, what leadership actually like entails. Like he lost two of his men for this uh, decision. Crazy. Get it back in the original base. Boom! Huge explosion! You wouldn't believe it. He just shook it off though, like it was nothing, and he comes right at us. He cuts our telling the story? in half, so Tucker goes in for a stab, but nothing's working. That's when I knew what to do. Oh. I throw myself on top of him, taking him completely by surprise. But he has a strength of ten men. No, ten bears. Oh. We're talking about. We're talking about this Maine. This guy's invincible. It looked like or nothing Texas. was gonna stop him. What did you do? Huh? Oh, uh, we tied a car to him and threw it off Maine. the cliff. All right. That is the most metal thing I've ever heard. <laughs> so the moral of the story is. You never know when random, seemingly unimportant stuff will turn out to be very important, which is why you shouldn't question me when I tell you to build me something like a hammock or a human slingshot. Griff, what are you doing? Just telling these guys how we took down the meta. Why? Is it true, Simmons? Did he really growl like some sort of monster? And did he yes. really have the strength of ten bears? Uh, I, uh, um, yes. <clears throat> more like, uh, you know, twenty bears. Spending way too much time with Tucker. Yeah. Griff Simmons and Caboose, report to my office immediately. Well, guys, it looks that like was that's not it a good tone. Run along. Aww. I like the part with the bears. <laughs> Tucker, Caboose, hello, the whole time. Me, I will shoot you. Oh, it's okay, Tucker. I, I know you're boring to grow big. Come on, let's grow. When did you get back? <laughs> a little while ago. What happened? Oh, I'll tell you what happened. Oh. Captain Tucker here decided to disobey orders and took it upon himself to recover a hard drive full of Federal Army secrets. A decision that only cost him the lives of two of his men. That's a pretty damn good trade if I do say so myself. <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, you should have seen this guy. He was all, I don't play by the rules. Fucking James Bond and shit all over the place. It was crazy. That is, Wait, that is something I did, was not expecting. Oh, do not get me wrong. I wanted to beat your worthless skull into the ground until it was paste. But look where we are now. You took a risk and it paid off. Paid off? Dude, two of our guys are dead. And two more will probably die tomorrow. Seriously, what don't you people get about that? That's enough, Felix. <clears throat> Just saying. Tucker. Your choice cost two men their lives, mm -hmm. but it also granted us access to valuable information. Whether or not this was the right thing to do is a conclusion you'll have to come to on your own. I'll leave it at that. Right True. now, the six of us need to have a talk. Could it not be as depressing as the talk we're having right now? No. I know where your friends are. You Yay! Do? I have friends! Whoa, when did this happen? I kept digging through the files Tucker brought back. There wasn't much to go off of, but eventually I found them. Okay, so good information. And from the looks of it, they've been moved around a bit. Finally, we can rescue Sarge and everything will go back I, to normal. I don't think. Isn't that great, Griff? Great is a strong word, Simmons. I'd have gone with tolerable. Don't celebrate just yet. As I said, they've been moving around fairly regularly. And from the looks of things, it isn't going to stop. Right now, they're held up in a compound just north of a nearby mountain range. But in about a week, it sounds like they'll be transferred to the capital. A place that is very very out of our reach so then we go get them now is that that's the thing we can do right the compound she's talking about is twice the size of the one tucker and i raided breaking in would be suicide yeah. breaking someone out would be like suicide and a bunch of puppies dying how do you know because i've tried and uh spoiler alert it didn't go well are the puppies okay Kimball, please talk some sense into these guys. Yes, I'm sorry. Can we get back to the puppy? Suicide's min when missions are like their four, forte. I envisioned strong, daring, respectable soldiers. But? But, now that I've come to know you, I've found that you're something else entirely. It turns out you're all a bunch of... Cowards. Losers. Idiots. Space men. Misfits. You're oddballs that don't exactly fit in. Which is why my men all look up to you, and why morale has been at an all-time high. What, because okay, they can good. relate to you. Good. Because together we're an army of underdogs and outcasts. But as of right now, I cannot authorize a rescue mission of this scale. Oh. Interestingly Sag. enough, you work well when you fight together. But individually, you still haven't shown what it takes to lead others. True. Which is why I'm giving you five days. Five days to assemble a smaller team. One comprised of the best of each of your platoons. 
And if you can convince me that you're ready by the end of those five days, then you will have my support. Five days? That's not really a lot of time. Nope. Well, it's all you've got. Yeah, um, if this is really happening, I'd like to be paid in advance. <laughs> Five Understandable. Days. Five fucking days. My naps take longer than five days. Yeah, yeah, President's Day is Monday, so we can't expect people to come in on a holiday because that would be time and a half. And, Understandable. Oh my god, that would be five and a half days. Take my advice, gentlemen. Live to fight another day. I think I liked you better when you thought we were super soldiers. Yeah. Hey, what's up with that? This is a plasma rifle. Part of my cut from the hit and run. Your cut? You think these guys have any money lying around? Yeah, right. They pay me in old alien tech. The whole reason course was chosen for colonization was because it showed promising signs of extraterrestrial artifacts. Turns out the UNSC was right. Too bad they abandoned the place. But hey, their loss is my very shiny, very valuable gain. Wait, why steal weapons and ammo when we could just use this space laser shit? Because they don't work, genius. They're busted. Nice. But I'm willing to bet that someone out there would be happy to pay a very large sum of money for these babies. Yeah, like collectors. Uh, yeah, wait, I'm sorry, I'm confused. Are, 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 they, are they babies or are they lasers? Or uh, laser babies? While we're talking business, if you guys are serious about rescuing your friends by the end of the week, I could always be persuaded to increase my level of assistance. For a one-time fee, of course. Maybe something along the lines of an alien energy sword? Yeah, the, mm. yeah no, that's not happening. Any takers? Tucker? <laughs> I don't think so. If you like the New Republic so much, how come you still charge them for your help? Because when I retire, I want a television the size of a billboard. Well, that's gonna be bad for your eyes. I'm yeah. just saying, you could always help us out for free. You know, mix it up a little. Uh, Isn't that what mm, Tucker said okay, to, so if you want to Tex? To help you rescue your friends because or like he asked what? for her it's prices right back do. in the day. Yeah, it's called not being a dick. <laughs> you know, if I recall, the first time these people ever asked you for help, you turned them down. Figured this whole civil war thing wasn't your problem. <laughs> In fact, I bet if your friends had never been captured, you'd still refuse to lend them a hand. Even if it was the right thing to do. Everyone has their price. Got, got you there. I learned that a long time ago. And you're no exception. Uh, we're gonna get like a backstory of this dude. I feel like there's like a like that's a little backstory hint right there. I just think that if you would just reconsider, sir. Uh, I mean, uh, I followed your order from day one with like the burritos, and and I'd follow you to the end, sir. Really, I would. Bitters, what do I always say? Nobody likes a kiss ass. Nobody likes a kiss oh, ass. Oh, yeah. Sir, Matthews, you are in fact a total kiss ass. And nobody likes that. You'd be great that. with Simmons. Bitters, do you like that? Nope. Bitters doesn't like that. Because Bitters here is a maverick, a loose cannon. And people love loose cannons. I'm a bit of a loose cannon myself. Oh, Isn't no, Isn't that right, not. Bitters? Actually, I'm starting to think you're just kind of lazy. Yeah. You see that? Total loose cannon response. I respect that, Bitters. <sighs> Whatever. So, <laughs> as much as it pains me inside, I'm afraid I must deny your request to join our elite team, Matthews. <sighs> Very well, sir. I'm sorry, I Matthews. I understand. Even in defeat, still a kiss ass. Griff, hurry up! Speaking of which. Yep. <clears throat> Hello, welcome, Got everyone. One of each. Thank you for joining us here. Uh, why don't we all just go down the line and introduce ourselves? Um, hi. Uh, yes. <laughs> My name is Michael J. Caboose. Hi, uh, Michael. Michael. No, I meant the recruit. <laughs> Why would we need to introduce ourselves? They already know us. Yes, but do they know the real us? What does True. that even mean? Well, that's a very interesting question, Tucker. Why don't you elaborate on those feelings? Oh, just state your name. And tell us a fun fact about yourself. Really? <clears throat> I hate that. Permission to speak, sir. Uh, go for it. Thank you, sir. Lieutenant John. Hey, G.I. Joe, could you drop the act? We don't have all day. <laughs> Oh, uh, very good, sir. My friends call me Smith. I've served the New Republic faithfully for several years, and I believe Captain Caboose is one of the wisest individuals I have ever had the pleasure of meeting. Sir. Great, another kiss ass. You mean our Caboose? Yes, sir. This one right here. Correct. <laughs> the blue one. Okay, moving on. Uh. Next. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, I'm yes. Katie Jensen. 
I enjoy vehicle maintenance, biology, uh, 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 should we do something? <coughs> Sorry, choked on my own spit. <laughs> what the fuck is this? It was either her or the really hot one that plays volleyball. Then what the fuck is this? She makes me less nervous, okay? Just leave me alone. Next. I'm Bitters. My fun fact is I don't have a fun fact. Nice. Total maverick. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, Private Palomo, slayer of women, wooer of evil. Wait. Is that your fun fact? Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> I'm the only just said copycat Tucker. Suck on that. I fucking hate you, Palomo. Right. He's the only one who's left. All been informed, this team has come together for the sole purpose of rescuing the remaining survivors of a UNSC shipwreck from several months back. We all know them as Donut, Agent Washington, and Sarge. And maybe a Spanish robot named Lopez. And maybe an adorable robot named Freckles. Yeah, yeah, we get it. The point is, we've only got five days to train you guys. So we're getting started right now. Any questions? Who is leading this team? I am. Oh. Uh, what? Well, I'm obviously the one who should be leading us. I'm the most logical of the group. Bullshit. I'm the one who set up this entire meeting. Yeah, and this meeting blows dicks. Wait, why do you want to be the leader? Well, I'm really starting to get used to all this praise and pampering. And I don't want to risk losing it all to one of you jerks. I can always praise and pamper you, sir. Oh my Matthew gosh. Matthews, what did we just talk about? Well, I think there's an easy way to settle this. Ahem. Raise your hand if you are the leader of a team any time before joining this <laughs> army. Oh, whatever, that was a fluke. Yep, and I forgot to raise my hand. Hey, if you're looking for experience, so far I'm the only one who's been on an actual mission. <coughs> Two people died. <coughs> Excuse me, sirs. We could always vote. Ooh. My fellow soldiers, if you elect me as your leader, you're not just voting for a kind, well-mannered leader, you're voting for victory. I've overseen countless skirmishes and calculated my opponent's every move. And although some people may not count Dungeons and Dragons as an acceptable example of military expertise, I beg to differ. A vote for Dick Simmons is a vote for America. But we're not in America. True. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and I will put good age in all the water fountains. What? And we won't have to wear uniforms anymore. And Principal Kimball will allow us Double! Reset! 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 Caboose, you're not running school. for class president. Yeah. No, don't you see? We won't need uniforms anymore because the war will finally be over. Kimball will send us out into the world and we'll never have to raise another gun ever again. My God, he has such a way with words. Oh. Is this guy for real? <laughs> Wait, but what about the Kool-Aid in the water fountains? Oh yeah, that sounds awesome. Perfect it's speech. I call dibs on the team. Dibs. You can't call dibs on the team. You sure? Griff. All right, whatever. I don't need a leader anyway. Sup, guys? Tucker here. Uh, speech. Speech. Oh, I've always said I'm a lover and not a fighter. Look at you, Jensen. Me? Yeah. Tell your volleyball friend I said that. Anyways, uh -huh. please, God, tell me you guys haven't been standing around talking all morning. All right, look, you want the truth? I don't want to be your leader. Being a leader totally sucks. It's hard work and you have to put up with people you hate. But I want to get my friends back, and seeing as that's our mission, I will deal with whatever bullshit I have to do to make it happen. And if I was holding a mic, this would be the part where i drop it. I vote for Tucker. Yeah, I vote for Tucker. Me too. Yeah. All right, well, Tucker is now the main man. Tucker, you got the job that you hate. Yeah, great, yay, happy for you. So, did you guys want to start training at some point? Or, sorry, would you prefer to keep dicking around? We're getting there. Because by all means, I could watch this train wreck all day. Really, it's it's like the Hindenburg footage. You ever see that? Just absolutely breathtaking. <laughs> Until you realize everyone's screwed. <laughs> okay, well, my guest in the beginning got completely messed up. I thought they were going to do like a little half and half, like half with Washington and then half with um the the four guys but it's just been the four guys and i'm i'm seeing that they're definitely putting an emphasis on you know tucker being a sort of a leader figure because i mean even even started back in season 11 where washington was like focusing on tucker like most and then in this reaction batch um tucker was the only one put on an actual mission 
So he's learning kind of like the the ropes of being a leader and part of being leaders like choosing like what happens with the life of your men. So I definitely do think that this season or maybe this trilogy in particular is going to be a growth experience for Tucker. But I'm not too sure how well it's going to work out because they have they have five days to to train and to be good enough to wear Kimmel. I think that's what her name is Kimmel to give them a go ahead in order to take on this mission. And right now, nobody that they picked out stood out, in my opinion, as being like, oh my gosh, this guy's gonna save them. This guy's gonna carry them the whole way. I do feel like something's gonna happen to where it will make Felix like want to like help out and you know join the mission. I don't know exactly what, or maybe I, I could be completely wrong. I could. And I just find it really surprising that we've, we've seen soldiers that are less soldiers in the reds and blues but i'm guessing that most of the people who are fighting for the like the freedom fighters they were not soldiers originally because in past stories and past videos movies or whatever it's usually the freedom fighters um are like the farmers or um just like the, the every, everyday workers who got fed up with you know how the army or the or the feds dealt with things and then they went on to fight themselves so i guess it kind of does make sense that they're kind of bad at the whole fighting thing so i'm guessing the the next batch of episodes is going to be them you know practicing but i don't know part part of me is like i i feel like kimmo's gonna be reluctant to to let them like go save their friends because if if she does do that and they end up saving their friends then basically the reds and blues they don't have any ties to the civil war like there's no need for them to continue fighting the civil war so basically she'll lose her assets if they go and save you know wash and all of them so i feel like she's gonna be reluctant to let them go and and save them but i guess we'll see you next time so that was my reaction to red vs blue season 12 episodes 1 2 3 and 4 if you like my reaction make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want me to know anything more put in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys next time bye